Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to improve your guitar tone for a dollar. So I've mentioned this topic before on a live stream, but I want to make a video about it, a dedicated video. I've been doing a lot of recording this week to do my guitar comparisons and I've noticed something that always bugs me. Check this out. Do you hear that? So what's happening here is we get these resonances when we, especially when we stop a chord, but they're happening all the time. We're getting sound from the string here behind the nut, and you really hear it at the end of a song if you stop dead, like staccato. I'll turn it up. I'll turn up the audio so you can really hear it. But you can really hear it. And then once you hear it, you don't unhear it. So I was a little bit hesitant about making this video because I don't want to point out things that may then bug you but I'm going to show you how to fix that. And I think this is an important topic because if you're recording in a studio, that's all going to be in the recording. This also applies to electric guitar, but of course you really hear it on acoustic guitar because there's a microphone picking up the guitar and the sound around the guitar, which includes that noise. So how do you fix it? Well, do me a favor, grab your guitar right now, mute the strings like this, and just hit the strings hard quickly. That's the sound we're trying to get rid of. So to get rid of the sound, just put your index finger behind the nut and do it again. So now it's completely gone. Well, this is why people use the wraps, and I have done a video on those before, the, the hair ties or the wraps you put around the nut here. But a really cool way to do this is to buy one of these, like I said in the video description, these are pick holders, and these are about a dollar each on Amazon. I'll put the link below so you can buy a pack of these. I believe it's a pack of six for around $7. So you get one of these, and you put it under the strings here. You just twist it under the strings. And the reason they sell these, they advertise these as pick holders. And it is actually really good for that. You can put your pick in the gap there, like that, like so. While you're playing, if you drop your pick, you can reach over and grab another pick. So that's another use. In fact, that's the intended use for these. But because it's sitting on the strings like that, what happens is it's actually deadening a lot of that sound that we had previously. So check this out. With that on the strings, it's completely gone. Now, the thing with this is it doesn't completely cover all the strings, as you can see, but it gets rid of almost all of that sound. I have written to these companies that make these because several companies make these. I like this one because it's completely black, but I've asked them to make a longer one, a wider one, so it will actually cover all of the strings and mute that sound completely. And this brings me to another thing I've been thinking about. Why don't guitar companies figure out a way to stop this? Maybe there's something they could put behind the nut or something, like a piece of material that stays there. I don't know, there's gotta be a better way, but this is a great way to do this. If you're recording, do this to clean up your recordings. If you're playing live, do this to improve the sound through a looper or a, a vocal harmonizer or something. It's going to track better because there's less excess sound in that signal. If you play electric, you can do that too. There's other problems with electric, like the springs can make noise. That's another topic for another day. All this sound here can be removed using this thing. And I think it looks pretty cool. It serves as a pick holder. It looks good. It doesn't get in the way and it gets rid of all that noise. So I hope this was useful for you. Maybe you've been playing sometimes and wondering what those noises are. And sometimes there are different resonant sounds in guitars. And they all have different amounts. But this is a very cheap way to get rid of a lot of it. Every guitar has that going on. And this is a way to remove it completely. So if you now hear that sound and it bugs you, I apologize. But if you're recording, especially get some of these and use them. It's really going to help clean up those recordings. All right, thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and ring the bell. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye-bye.